days following the uh, Olympic closing ceremony, a specially built terminal at Heathrow uh, handled all the overseas athletes eager to get home to their friends and their families. And it was, uh, yeah, it it was quite amazing, creation, isn't wasn't it? it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, some of those athletes didn't just fail to check in. They never even went to the airport. This year's Olympics gained Britain more medals than any other games in the last 100 years. They also stand to gain Britain a clutch of asylum seekers. It's been reported that 21 competitors, mostly from African countries, didn't fly home after the Games. But no one will know for sure if they want to stay in the UK until their visas expire in November. The runaway Ney Gabri Selassie is, or was, part of the Eritrean team. But he's agreed to go public to talk to us about why he's made the decision to stay. There's no guarantee he will be allowed to, of course, but he told me, through an interpreter, the reasons why he wants to stay. I'm an athlete, but at the same time, I'm a forcibly conscripted uh, soldier, and uh, I didn't have any sort of freedom that I enjoyed during my stay in the UK for 10 days. If, if you're sent home, what do you think the reaction will be from the government back in Eritrea? I would be accused of treason because that's what they will charge me. And then if you are accused of such kind of serious allegations, without any uh, rights, you would be executed. So my life w would be in danger. For some people, international sporting events are the only chance they get to flee their homeland. After the Sydney Games, for example, 83 members of the Olympic family remained illegally. And much closer to home at the 2002 Commonwealth Games in Manchester, 20 members of the Sierra Leone team simply vanished. The number of people claiming asylum has dropped dramatically over the last decade. Last year, nearly 20,000 people applied for asylum, but only 4,309 were successful. Of those, 615 came from Eritrea, a country that was found by a United Nations report to subject its army conscripts to torture and illegal forced labour. Shara Pleasure is an immigration expert. Asylum is a very specific thing, and the UK has signed up to what's called the Refugee Convention. What that basically allows is um, a country to grant asylum to somebody if that person has a well-founded fear of persecution for reasons of their race, religion, nationality, political opinion or membership of a particular social group. It's not the case, as public perception sometimes is, that they're sort of free to kind of come and go as they please. They will be reporting to the border agency regularly, so they are aware of their whereabouts pretty much all the time. Um, and they're quite heavily scrutinised. The reality of the asylum process for Wayne is that he's told where he has to live, he's under a nighttime curfew, and he's not allowed to earn any money. He says that if he's granted asylum, he wants to work and continue running. Who knows, he could one day be competing for Team GB. Wayne and his translator Bereket, who's lived in the UK for nine years after being granted asylum, insist that welfare handouts are not the reason they've come here. So the perception that some people have that asylum seekers choose the UK because it's a soft touch, because it's got a good benefit system? No, n not at all, not at all. I disagree with what uh, you just said. All they want is they want personal freedom, they want to be part of that society. And that's why a lot of people tend to come to the UK. They feel they are part of the British society. The people are more tolerant, understanding people, and there are uh, opportunities like to express yourself, to be part of the society. If the other Olympic athletes who failed to go home haven't applied for asylum by the end of November, when their visas expire, then they'll become overstayers. They will become subject to what's called administrative removal. So that's where the border agency, if they can locate them, will detain them and then just remove them from the UK. And if that person were to disappear into the British community, what are the chances of the border agency being able to track them down? It's difficult to say. There are obviously problems with that and there are an unknown number of people in the UK who do not have immigration status but have simply disappeared <laughs> into the system, as it were. As for Wayne, he now faces an anxious wait to hear if his application is successful. Was that your plan to always come to the Olympics and stay? And exactly the same question that you put it to me now uh, was asked by the home office, by the interviewing officer. Mm. And I said to her, I mean, the only reason that I'm 
remain in this country is not something that I had planned previously yeah. prior to coming to the UK. Uh, a world champion for, for Great Britain? If uh, the British public wants me, it would be a pleasure. Thanks very much indeed for that, Simon. Yes.